Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a comparison of Nora Corbett and Mirabilia. I've had a couple people ask me the differences between these two patterns. And so I thought I would do a quick video to explain what I think the differences and similarities are. Obviously, it's the same designer. Nora Corbett does both Mirabilia and Nora Corbett. And this also was spurred by the fact that Jill and I were talking about this a couple days ago when the new Mirabilia came out. And I said, you know, I find myself gravitating towards the Nora Corbett's. Because one of the major differences for me is the fact that it takes me four to five months to stitch a Mirabilia. And it only takes me a month or two to stitch a Nora Corbett. So I have a snowball's chance in hell of actually finishing one of these, or more than one, in the course of a year. So let's take a look at the back, the key of the pattern. These are where the major differences are, obviously. Now, for a Mirabilia, it usually has more floss, more beads, more sparkle thread, more everything. I mean, look, this has close to how many colors? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 33 colors in that. Six, seven beads, three crystal treasures, and the size. The size is also a huge difference. The size of this is tw almost 12 and a half by 14 and a half. That's pretty big. Mm hmm. And the size of the pattern, too. You know what? I didn't even think about that. Obviously, if it's bigger, it's going to be... I'm going to hold up the back of it. Well, this is on two sides. Two sides. Okay, so that shows you that. The Nora Corbett. As I try to open it. Okay, well, first of all, there's only... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's only 14 floss colors. Now, there are quite a bit of Krynik in this, so there's five of that, and there's actually five beads. But for me, it still is just a lot easier to stitch. Now, another difference, oh, in the pattern, is usually all on one sheet of paper for the Nora Corbett. Yeah, here's the whole pattern. Another difference, which I don't particularly like, is the fact that on a Mirabilia, there is usually a very detailed and beautiful face. On a Nora Corbett, there usually is not. Now, she has like a little eyelash. And a couple of them that I've stitched, I've actually added a face. I added a face to wisteria pixie and I borrowed the face from someone for my fairy spring fling which I should have brought that out to show you guys but yeah so major differences in these two and I'm going to show you the size of them framed because I've obviously done a bunch of mirabilia and I've done a bunch of the Nora Corbett I'm going to stand up because the the mirabilia is huge so I stitched many, many years ago, Mermaid of the Pearls for my husband. Here it is. I mean, you can see how I'm holding it up next to myself, how huge it is. This is, I mean, my whole arm is stretched out over the side of this. Yeah, it's giant. I'm gonna try to hold up the, them side by side. Here is Nora Corbett's Sweet Pea Pixie that I did. You can see it's much smaller. Now, look side by side. This looks so tiny, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. I love stitching. I love stitching the Nora Corbett ones. I really, really do. So let me think, any other differences? I'm trying not to make this a hugely long video, but wanted to talk about this. I don't think there's anything else that I really wanted to say about it. I have a couple more videos coming this week. I want to do a weekly update, obviously, and 
I'm going to do an unboxing video of my Fiberlicious birthday box. Just a couple more things. And for those of you interested in makeup, nails, stuff like that, I'm going to be putting a couple different content videos on my channel. I won't title them floss tubes, so those who have no interest in that stuff don't need to watch it. But I'm going to do maybe a tutorial on how I do my impressed nails and things like that. You know, just some different things. So that's it. I don't know if this was helpful or if any of you cared about to hear the differences of what I thought between Mirabilia and Nora Corbett, but hands down my favorite designer. And you saw my picture on, if you follow Stitch Mania, you saw my picture of Peony Pixie. I am almost, I mean, I can taste the finish with that. So I'm almost done that. I can get to my mermaid that I'm going to stitch next, the Nora Corbett, the Luce Mia. So, okay. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video. I just realized Bye. I did not say the size of the Bluebell, the Nora Corbett. Jesus. This is why I, mm. I'm, see, I was trying to rush doing this before work. The August Peridot Fairy is 12 and a half by 15. No, 12 and a half by 14 and a half. The Bluebell, the Pixie, is only 7 by 10. Pretty big difference. Okay, that's really it this time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye! Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. As I... yeah. <laughs> right away, the beginning. Done. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be something that I actually debated whether to do or not. I, oh God, just record the friggin' video. Just do it, just say it. Hot friggin' mess.